Way to go. Over two miles in the SBK bumper. And it's your dreamer, the first to show in front from Romeo Coolio in the black and white jacket. Close up is Jack Moon on the outside is Sporting Glory. And to their dinner is Step Out. You're a dreamer and Patrick Mullins make it early on from Romeo Coolio and Harry Swan. A couple of links to Jack Moon, John Gleason in third and fourth is Step Out, Stephen Connor. Fifth of the five is Sporting Glory and Derek O'Connor. Making the bend to head away from the stands is you're a dreamer. By less than two lengths to Romeo Coolio. Now three lengths back to in third place, Jack Moon, who's followed by Step Out. And lastly, Sporting Glory in single file. Starting to race up along the side of the track. You're a dreamer, tracked by Romeo Coolio, Jack Moon third, then Step Out and Sporting Glory. Continuing on rising ground. You're a dreamer, leads Romeo Coolio, Jack Moon in third, and then Step Out who is one behind Sporting Glory. Well inside their final mile and a half in the concluding SBK two mile bumper. It's your dreamer leading Romeo Coolio and then Jack Moon step out and sporting glory. Order and changed, reaching the top of the hill. It's your dreamer closely followed by Romeo Coolio, bought for a hefty sum of the sales. Up to the favourite is Jack Moon, and then Step Out and Sporting Glory. Downhill they go to the halfway stage. The quintet has tightened up a bit. You're a dreamer by three parts to Romeo Coolio, two lengths back to Jack Moon, and then Step Out and Sporting Glory. Heading for the final seven furlongs. Still little or no changes in the order of running as you're a dreamer. Followed by Romeo Coolio, Jack Moon, Step Out, and Sporting Glory. As they exit the back straight, you're a dreamer by three parts of a length to Romeo Coolio, and then Jack Moon, a length back in third. Step Out, joined for the fourth by Sporting Glory. On they come to the concluding six furlongs. You're a dreamer. As of yet, hasn't been headed. Romeo Coolio. Followed by Jack Moon, Sporting Glory, improves the outside and just relegated to be last of the quintet. They step out, five and a half to run. The quintet covered by four legs. You're the dreamer from Romeo Coolio, Sporting Glory, step out on the inside of Jack Moon. Reaching the final half mile, you're a dreamer with a slim advantage over Romeo Coolio. And then Sporting Glory, Step Out and Jack Moon all close in behind. Heading for the final turn. It's your Dreamer and Romeo Coolio. Not much between them now. Followed round the home turn by Step Out and then Jack Moon and Sporting Glory. Three lengths covering them as they turn into the straight. You're a Dreamer, joined on the inside by Romeo Coolio who looks poised. And then Step Out, Sporting Glory and Jack Moon. Returning to their point of departure, you're a dreamer has lost the lead to Romeo Coolio, who's coming there in a tight rain. Step out, was trying to make a race of it over on the far side, and Jack Moon and Sporting Glory. The first one to crack is you're a dreamer. It's Romeo Coolio from Step Out and Jack Moon. Then Sporting Glory and you're a dreamer racing inside the final furlong, and it's Romeo Coolio and Harry Swan stretching on by a couple of lengths to in second place, Sporting Glory, and then Jack Moon. It's Romeo Coolio who will get to the line first by a length. Sporting Glory second, Jack Moon third. Yeah, Romeo Coolio wins the last for Harry Swan. It looked a bit of a mess of race, Harry, was it? Yeah, it was, Johnny. Um, look, it turned into a sprint, really. Um, probably wasn't a, a true run race, really. But um, look, my lad, he can be a little bit hard on himself. He's a, he's a gorgeous horse just, now. Yeah, um, we see him here behind you. He's yeah. take your right. He does, yeah. He, and he can just be a little bit hard on himself. And I didn't mind just sitting him behind Patrick. Cause I think maybe if I let him go to the front, he could have ran with the choke out a bit. So, mm. you know, I was happy. I was happy enough where I was throughout the race. And... He quickened on and he eyed a little bit out in front and he'll come on from that as well. So, yeah, I think he's a proper horse, yeah. Gordon Elliott has some team of bumper horses this season. What yeah. sort of feel did he give you relative to others, I suppose? 
I'm sure he, look, he travelled into race so easily and like he gave me a proper feel. Like I, I, he did idle out in front a little bit and I did have to get after him. But you know he's he's probably a proper galloper. He probably would would um, relish from a, a proper gallop, Johnny. Um, so look, I'm I'm very happy with him and you know yeah he's a he's a looking ex very exciting horse to, to look forward to. Finally, an outstanding season you're having. Yeah, thanks a million, Johnny. Um, yeah, trying to keep going now and. I can't thank Gordon enough for the opportunities and uh, yeah, try to keep the ball rolling. I don't think there's any catching Patrick for the championship, but sure, we'll just keep trying. Enjoy the weekend. Thanks, Johnny. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.